I primarily use my sketchbook uh, as a way to keep track of my rapidly expanding graphomania. I need to have access to paper, sketchbooks, or clipboards nearly all the time. I keep sketchbooks and clipboards and scraps of paper in nearly every room in the house so that I have uh, access to that uh, whenever the mood strikes. I believe drawing comes from drawing, so I don't tend to think about it. I just sort of let it go and uh, eventually go through those scraps and sketchbooks and clipboards and find things that I like or areas that I find interesting and I cut them out and redraw them or collage them into other drawings, uh, making larger constructs out of them. I eventually, you know, take these and put them onto foam and draw back into them. I'm in the process of making an uh, installation with these. Three-dimensional, two-dimensional objects. I view my sketchbook as a sort of a foundational process that is a way to generate images uh, and then I eventually edit those down into something that I can use. Hi, my name is Terry Shaw. I'm an artist and I live in uh, Sherwood Park. I started um, journaling and sketching you know, about seven years ago. I took a, a workshop with a wonderful artist, uh, Anne McCartney, and she was just excellent. She, uh, she got me started I, with a pen and ink and a watercolor wash. So after that, I started sketching my backyard flowers and my seeds that were growing and found it taking 15 minutes every day was so calming and, all, and very meditative and just a joy. I looked forward to my little quiet time every day in the garden. Then after when fall arrived, I decided, well, what am I going to sketch now? So I thought, okay, the alphabet. I'll start being inspired by finding things in the alphabet. So I started this little sketchbook and found lots of things to be inspired by. Even a jug of milk for my fridge, for dairy, for my alphabet. That was really fun and I finished that book and then I thought, well, I enjoyed that. Um, I think, and then again in the spring, um, I started my own little garden journal. I started planting my seeds and, and, um, sketching them and then doing a little watercolor wash and I started the seeds and then I went to let's see to my harvest and and recipes of my pickles for my grandmother and uh, that's just been delightful fun I've really enjoyed that then I went on to fun things a little journal called fun things I started this with my granddaughter Alyssa and uh, she didn't want to finish it so I kind of took over the book and started doing special little treasures and learning how to do fun things in this journal. Then now I'm working on moments in time. I thought this has been so much fun. I, I just got the idea. I don't know how that got started, but I, I thought moments in time. There's many, many moments everybody has in time. So I started with 
lots of little moments in time. So this little painting is uh, very special to me. So that was a wonderful moment in my time uh, being here in this place. This painting, this little sketch turned into a painting and uh, many, many more that uh, I have done in here have turned into paintings. So that's just been wonderful. Then I just realized that houses, oh boy, um, I've lived in 22 different houses. Now I'm sketching all the houses that, that uh, mean something to me. And even my school was a special time. So I, I sketched that in my little book and wrote a little bit about it. So I have thoroughly enjoyed my sketching, my sketchbook. I hope that you find that when you try to sketch with a pen, you pay more attention to detail and it's quite relaxing and fun. I hope you get started.